dear colleagues, it would be good to hear from you one day, where is your political space, where do you go when you will leave the parliament? Presidents, uh, cher Michel uh, Barnier, dear colleagues, since Thursday night we have clarity with regard to the withdrawal of the UK. Our British friends will leave the EU in an orderly manner at the end of January and become a third country. This is once again a moment to repeat we respect but we regret and I'm sure existing friendships will last. European Parliament is prepared to finalize its part of the withdrawal process in time for the deadline. As much as I am sad to see our friends leave, we must now look to the future. And we take note of the strategic choice of the UK's Prime Minister to limit the transition period by domestic legislation. We take this choice seriously, but of course we regret that through this act a provision in the agreement we jointly negotiated and agreed will be blocked. So much for negotiating in good faith. The EU has prepared extensively for the task ahead and we are looking forward to constructive negotiations as we want to conclude an ambitious agreement. Our mandate for the negotiations will be based on the political declarations jo jointly agreed between the EU and the UK and I hope that with this declaration we will be taken to the unprecedentedly deep and diversified agreement we ever had with a third country, hopefully allowing us to tackle global challenges together while respecting European level playing field measures and interests of the Union. Let me finish by saying that we must not forget that in parallel to the negotiation this House will spare no effort to ensure correct and full implementation of the withdrawal agreement and will monitor closely the enforcement of the citizens' right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, there was a blue card request.